Cardinality of a finite set. If A is a finite set, we define the cardinality of A written as an A between two vertical lines, just like the symbol for absolute value. Okay, the cardinality of A is just defined to be the number of elements of A. Let's look at an example. Consider the set consisting of the elements A, B, and C. The cardinality of this set is three because there are three elements in the set. Let's look at some more examples. Let A be the set consisting of cat, dog, horse, and walrus. Then the cardinality of A is four. Let B be the set consisting of S, T, and T. Then the cardinality of B is two. Remember that the set consisting of S, T, and T is the same as the set consisting of just S and T. The most natural way to write a set is not to repeat any of the elements. Let C be the set consisting of 25, 26, 27, dot, 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 3167, 3168. Then the cardinality of C is 3144. Okay, so how did we get that? Well, we use what's called the fence post formula, which says the number of consecutive integers from M to N inclusive is N minus M plus one. Remember the word inclusive means including M and N. So here M is the first element of the set 25, N is the last element 3,168. And so we get 3,168 minus 25 plus one is 3,144. Okay, let D be the set consisting of the set containing A, the set containing A and A, and the set containing A, A, and A. Then what's the cardinality of D? Well, it's one. How do we get that? Well, the set containing A and A is the same as the set containing A, and the set containing A, A, and A is the same as the set containing A. So we see that we've just listed the same set three times. This is actually equal to the set containing just the set containing A, and there's just one element in that set. As one more example, let E be the empty set. Then the cardinality of E is zero because the empty set has no elements. Okay, let's do an exercise. Determine the cardinality of each of the following sets. Now is a good time to pause the video try these problems yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, the first one, the set consisting of one, two, three, dot, 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 50. Well, that's just 50. The set consisting of C, D, E, F, E, D, and C. Well, first let's just cross out the repeats. E, D, and C are listed twice, and then we could see that there are four elements in that set. The set consisting of the empty set and the set of the empty set. Well, let's, let's circle the elements of this set. There's the empty set and there's the set containing the empty set. We see that there are two elements. Next, the set of natural numbers n such that n is between 126 and 2007 inclusive. For this one, we'll use the fence post formula. We get that n is 2007 and m is 126 in the formula. So we have 2007 minus 126 plus one, which is 1,882. Okay, now for the last one, we have the set consisting of x, the set of x and x, the set of x, x and x, and the set of x and set x, x. Okay, so let's uh, simplify this a bit first. Set x, x is the same as set x as well as uh, set XXX is the same as set X. And we can simplify that last one a bit to set of X and set X. Okay, so we see that there's an X here, and then we have the same one repeated twice. Let's cross out the repeat and we have set X, and then we have set of X and set X. There are three elements there in total.